Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be talking about the 13th of July 2024. Um, in Minecraft, we're going to be continuing on with the church that we're doing. I'm going to try and... Uh, all right, I'm going to try and do the little beams in between the doorway, which doesn't mean much to you now because I've just got the foundations down, but I believe it's going to require me just getting rid of some of this in my inventory. In the correct oh what? In the correct space. And uh I'll just go up there. And we're actually gonna get the chisel out for the first time in a while. Ah oh, bloody hell, it's such a pain in the ass, but it is worth it. Right, do we are these full? Let's just delete these. That'll probably be alright. Two bags is enough. Uh, let's get the chisel out. Boom. Oh, I forgot I have a light show. Huh, <laughs> jokes. Doesn't matter for today. Oh, it's fully repaired. Well, um, basically, today, I woke up. I, I woke up naturally at 7.15, which is quite weird, because I think I fell asleep at around 2. Uh, I fell asleep quite late. So, waking up at 7.15, I was like, oh, mate. Feel like this is gonna. I'm gonna feel tired super early, so I went back to bed. Uh, dub. Oh fuck! I need to start syringing these sheep. If I want to mine never, if I want to get never right soon, I need to. Maybe I need to enclose them again. Oh shit! That I should probably do that. Enclose the sheep. Oh my god, I put all the mud blocks away, for fuck's sake. I love that you can jump and half break things, that's such a cool feature. Um, anyway. There's a creeper down there, it's gone, it's gone now. Alright, we'll, we'll save the sheep for another episode. But, um... No, I'll just start with the bottom. No, fuck it. I, mean, I just need to get the mud blocks. Stop being silly. Oh, man. I can't be fucking arsed for the sheep and the beds, but it's quite simple. I actually, I already had them enclosed before, but I set them free. For fuck's sake. I'm trying to do something nice. <laughs> anyway. Uh, woke up, then went back to sleep. Woke up again. <laughs> Pretty. I was kind of fine, but I was fine. Um... Jumped out of bed, got in the shower, and um, hold on, let's just get our stuff here. Fireworks. Oh, you know what? Let's go and uh, let's go and get our shulker boxes from the village over here. The shulker boxes that we said would get back when, when the elytra worked. How amazing! We can finally do it now. Um, but yeah, so got got on the train, <sighs> shower train. Uh, I was I had my eyes set on a uh, almond croissant that I had for breakfast on Wednesday at the same cafe I went to. Uh, this little Turkish deli. I was like, yeah, I want an almond croissant and a coffee to start the day. Um, Got on the train, everything was fine. Uh, but then, to get to this, sir, this this gym in particular, I need to take three different trains. First two trains, fine. Sec third train, I got on, and then it just starts going the other way. And I'm like, what the fuck? It starts going backwards. I'm like, why? Why? Fuck's sake. So I get off the station, and at this point, all is doomed. Statistics say there's no way I'm even getting to work even slightly on time. Oh shit, this is nowhere near. Um, luckily I have the coordinates, I think. Right. Uh, did I have them here? Fuck. I forgot what frock stands for. 
I think this is the one. 64207. The one with no title. So yeah, we're what? We're nowhere near. 64 minus 207. if this is the right place but fuck it we'll find out soon um yeah so like, the, i got off at the station wrong station because it went the fucking wrong way and i'm like fuck i'm gonna be late i've it's, it's my responsibility to unlock the gym there's gonna be people that are on time waiting outside they're thinking what the fuck wait hold on oh fuck's sake i have been here before Right, so this moves when I go left and right, yeah? So we need this to be 64, and that to be 207. So I need to go back this way. In a straight line, there should be a bit of land. Okay. Um... So yeah, I was, I was a little bit worried, but then I said, you know what, the app says, so it's currently like 20 to 10, which is when the gym opens, the app says it's a 30 minute walk, there's no way I'm getting there on time, and also have time to get breakfast, so I'm like, fuck it, I don't listen to these motherfuckers, I'm gonna run, so I ran, like the speed of light, and um, got there on time, following maps on my phone, Thank God I had service now. If I wait, what? This is my base. Why would I put? The, oh, the game pauses when you click on a map when you're flying in single player. I didn't know that. All right, what's going on here, man? Why would I put my? Oh, fuck's sake! Why would I? That's the base coordinates. That must be something very specific. All right, maybe it's this one now. Future. I, oh yeah, it is this one. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. 2274 minus, so go this way, yeah, this way basically. 2274 minus 795. What? Yeah, wait, no, because these negative numbers going down. We want it to go up. We want that, we want X to go up. Fucking hell. Like, I'm pretty sure it's for the. It's not good. So, how do we make X go up and Z go down? So, it's currently Z is going up very quickly, which is not good. If we go this way, it still goes up. It only goes down when I go this way, which. Oh my god, it was that way, wasn't it? Silly Billy. It was this way, I remember now. Alright. Wait, no, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah, I ran to the gym, got there, uh, looked across the road to the front door of the gym and there was no one in there. There was no one waiting at the door, so I quickly got a little fucking croissant with almonds. I tried to get a meal deal, but he was like, no, if I put almonds on it, that voids it of the meal deal. And I'm like, dude, fucking hell, man. You know, I, I wonder why I go there. So the food is really good, but the, the, you don't really get service with a smile there, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, he refused to give me the meal deal, three pounds for a coffee and croissant. So I had to pay six pounds. But I knew the almond croissant was that good, I was going to pay for it anyway. Plus, working at this gym is literally just like fun. So I'm like, fuck it, it's free money. Um, sounds like a very, that sounds like girl maths. I've been hearing that term being thrown around. Sounds like girl maths. Probably guilty of that in this uh, particular scenario, but uh, fuck it. Um, <clears throat> the village is somewhere around here. Are these going to break soon? Oh my god. I need unbreaking on these motherfuckers. Yeah, this is the right way. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, had that, got in, and uh, there was this one Irish dude at the fucking front door when I got my croissant, and he was like, 
as I was walking, like, I was about four minutes late by this point. He was like, uh, do you know what time the gym's opening? He's like, do you tra are you training here? Do you know what time it opens? And I was like, now. <laughs> it opens now, here's the key. I'm, over I'm unlocking the door. Uh, so yeah, unlock, got in. I just wanted to have my croissant. This fucking guy kept talking to me. He was like, yeah, I trained Muay Thai in Thailand a few years ago. I'm going to be a pro fighter. I'm like, great, dude. <laughs> I haven't trained in ages, but I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to be a pro, and then I see him hit the bag. I'm like, dude, fucking hell. He's like almost 30. I'm like, mate, you're fucking Jesus. You know, whatever. I hope, uh, best of luck to him. I shouldn't be a hater like that, but still, fuck me. Um, this is where it all started. I've since found out that these villagers with green coats are actually on benefits, so they don't get jobs. They will refuse jobs. And I bred these two to try and get these this fucker a job. And they just said no. Unbelievable. You two, really. But somehow they gave birth to an ambitious young man who would take a job. I suppose I'll take these beds back now. You can go... Actually, no. You know what? You could be free. Leave. Eaten by zombies, maybe. Alright. Um, let's get out of here. Elijah would help. But yeah, so he wouldn't keep... I mean, he kept talking to me. I was like, man, fuck off. I want to eat this. As soon as he walked away, I just fucking swallowed this thing in in one. Not really. It was quite big, actually. Um, I had that. I had my coffee. It was feeling good. Some old faces were walking in. People I hadn't seen for ages. And uh, yeah, nice to see them. I have heard there's been a little bit of drama in the Muay Thai kind of section of the gym recently. Um, but I, was, I just don't care. But it's nice to see them. I do go back a few years with some of these guys. And yeah, um, watched the class. I was playing chess on my phone, just scrolling Instagram, playing a little bit of chess. I think I won like two games, lost one. And um, oh, did I see there? And, um, yeah, then finally that class was over and it's time to do the jiu-jitsu. Uh, my friend came in, my friend of five years came in and uh, taught the class. I hadn't seen him since I'd gone travelling, so I was very happy to see him. And, um, yeah, he asked me about travelling. I mentioned briefly my little story. And, um, and then we took a picture, because we have a picture. Like, it's almost five years old, me and him. So we took another one, and I was like, yo, stand this side of me, because the picture we had that long, the long time ago, we're standing this way. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> it was going to be, yeah, so we got the wrong way around, but it's fine. And, um, is it going to break soon? Oh my god! Boom. Um, yeah, turns out I was wrong, but, uh... <laughs> Still a nice photo. We did some cool training. I did some rounds with him. He's he's always been really good, and he messed me up. Uh, he's super solid game. I couldn't get uh, anything on him, um, but there's no shame there because he is a very 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 high skilled person. And um, yeah, um, finished up. We went and got lunch together. I had some like chicken and rice and a donut. Boom. And uh, what was I doing? Gunpowder goes in here. Make fireworks later on. So I've just my elytra was full health today. It was full health. And then in that little flight I've completely killed it. So we need an unbreaking brook next. That's what we need. Um I'm gonna keep it on to repair it. When it goes night time I'll kill some mobs. Uh, yeah, he was talking to me about his work, and he's uh, teaching jiu-jitsu now, and he's also doing like security jobs, which is super cool, and he said he might get me involved in some of that, and he knows people that are looking for coaches in jiu-jitsu, and I did do a little bit of coaching today, helping him, and it's quite rewarding, you know, I quite enjoy it, I never saw myself doing it for the longest time, uh, because I just thought that, you know, I thought I had quite a way to go before I could teach people, and I could definitely teach beginners, but that's it. Um... Yeah, I don't feel like I'm at the level yet. And also, I just kind of do everything unconsciously. 
Like when I'm when I'm at competitions and people ask, "What did you do there?" I'm like, "I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just did it, bro." Is there a I hope is there stone brick walls that I, that I could just be doing this with? Fuck it. Oh, I should have brought paper and pen. Fuck's sake. This might be too skinny. I don't know. Maybe it's perfect. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I will see. Um, I hope grass grows on this now. Well, I, well I'm going to replace the pavement anyway. Um, and yeah, so finished up. Uh, cleaned up the gym after our lunch. He left and I locked up and uh, started heading out. I, I was going to go uh, and work out with... Uh, one of the guys that used to work at the restaurant because I thought he was a really cool guy and uh, he's also friends with my sister's boyfriend they like go back friends many many years and um, scaffold I'm going to go back and bring scaffolding and a paper and pen um, they go back many years and he texts me like yo yo I hear you're meeting up with this guy uh, come park we're all at the park I was like cool uh, got home showered Jumped in the car, drove to the park, and um, yeah, it was just my sister's boyfriend and this dude. T it turns out by this point it was about like half six, and uh, he started working out at like half two. I'm like, dude, you're not gonna be able to do a circuit with me if you fucking worked out for hours. He's like, yeah, man, and he's fucking hella stoned as well. <laughs> I turn up, he's like, yeah, what's up? I'm like, dude, this is not like, what I'm used to. I thought he was like, he was all hype and everything. He was super chill. And I said, like, are you high? He's like, he didn't even answer me. <laughs> uh, pen and paper. It was all right. I mean, I went out. We They weren't out for that long. I was just chatting to my sister's boyfriend as well. And we are just talking about, like, travels and the girl situation and all that shit. And how gobsmacking it is. But, um... Yeah, and I told the dude as well because, uh, I mean, he used to work at the restaurant and he's actually met this girl. Where's the pen? Did I put it back? Have I lost this pen? Oh, I put it in here. And he just said, man, fuck girls, don't worry about them, man. Get rich. Because I know that this guy's, like, he's got his side hustles and ambitions and he said... I asked him how it was going, and he was like, I don't want to talk about it, man. I'm 11 grand in debt. I was like, what? Unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, and he seemed pretty upset, and I, so I didn't push him on that. Um, drove home, had my spaghetti bolognese, and I actually had quite a lot of time on my hands, and I completely wasted it. I asked my mate if he wanted to play. He didn't answer, and then I just... Sat there, put my head down on reels, lost it on reels. I'm pretty uh, embarrassed about that because it was literally like nine o'clock. I'd finished my food, and uh, and now it's uh, twenty to one, and I haven't done anything in that time, which is really shit of me. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good night. Night. Um. My dad does this really fucking gay hand gesture where he like, it basically means volume down. It's just so annoying, even though I'm being really quiet anyway. And that house is pretty big. It's fucking annoying. I want to slap him in the face for that. Anyway, I forgot the scaffolding. Um, what a fucking gay hand gesture. That's actually pissed me off. Fuck's sake. I feel like hitting the bag now. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, uh, drove home, spag bowl. Yeah, I've already said this. And then, uh, yo, Donald Trump got shot at today. It's crazy.
crazy. I don't know what the hell he was shot with because he like got hit in the ear and his ear was bleeding. If it was any gun, it would have taken his fucking head off. Killed him, but uh, no. Just um, made his ear bleed. Pretty, uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty gnarly, guys. Take this as well, just in case. All the scaffolding, because we need it. And yeah, um, so yeah, got in, oh my god, right, you know what, I'm just going to say the rest of the day, we're not going to do that much Minecraft of the of the church today, because I just need to sleep, but, um, yeah, uh, I noticed, I mean, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit, but hey, I'll be, comp I'll be completely honest, like, that's what I do here, I don't hide shit, um, sometimes, like maybe some of you guys do, I check who's seen my story because for some reason I care inside, I don't know why. And in this particular time in my life, there's a girl that I used to really like. Which I don't anymore, and I, I can I can actually say that without lying now, I actually don't like her anymore. But for some reason I still wonder if she's seen my story, to be completely honest, I don't know why. So I was checking to see if she saw it, and she did. But then, ladies and gents, she unfollowed me and made me unfollow her how interesting is that does that mean i'm living in her head rent free is that what that means i don't know guys you tell me because i didn't unfollow her because i wanted her to see how fantastic uh, this is brutally honest it's so gay but i'm being brutally honest and i'm pretty sure you guys have probably done something similar to this before only difference is i'm being honest <laughs> I didn't unfollow her because I wanted to see how wonderful I was doing without her, even though I was in absolute bits for quite a while. Um, zombie pig man. Um, and now she's unfollowed me and taken me away as her follower, so I, I don't follow her anymore because she's removed me, basically. That's how that works, guys. Oh my god, I don't even have enough bricks to do this. Alright, wait. I did have some. Where have they gone? Did I put it in this box? Alright guys, we're not going back a, lot, a, a fucking fourth time. Um, so yeah, she removed me from all that, so I thought, wow, maybe uh, she does actually think about me and maybe she regrets her actions, otherwise why would she remove me like that? Um, maybe she doesn't want to see me because it, she regrets it. And that gives me some sort of satisfaction, um, to be honest with you. And yeah, again, the whole situation is just super sad. It really is so sad. But, I mean, again, the whole time... I mean, I, I kind of just... I, I fell in love with somebody who didn't really exist. So, like, obviously she exists, but the version of her that is actually true, um, I was completely unaware of, and I was kind of just looking at her from an angle that just wasn't accurate. Um, and yeah, that's all I'll say on that for now. I was thinking about doing my like my travel recap videos tonight, but I just fucking... Oh, yeah, I tell you all, I downloaded Bumble. So I think I'm ready, guys. I think I'm ready. I said I'd never do dating apps again, but it doesn't look like the restaurant's hiring anytime soon. And uh, most of the time they hire, it's like really young girls, not into 15-year-olds, to be honest. Um, and it's illegal as well, should mention that. But, um, yeah, I said I'd never do it again. But I think I'll just stick to Bumble where the girls have to message you. And yeah, I don't know. I think I'm ready, you know. I think I'm ready to talk to someone else. And I need to, like, sort of... I don't know. I think I need to. Um, and who knows? Maybe I'll find someone really wonderful. But uh, I'm going to just sort of try and limit my time on it. Even though these apps are like... They're basically like slot machines for, the, for our brains. They're just as addicting as slot machines. I've already maxed out all my likes. And, uh... <laughs> yeah... It's not good, not good. Um, but yeah, so I've got that, and uh, see where that goes. I've already got like seven likes, but I haven't got any chats yet because the girls need to start the conversation on Bumble, that's the catch. Um, but, but that's why I've downloaded it and not Tinder and Hinge because the other two just take way too much of my time. But um, yeah, so I've downloaded that shit. Donald Trump got shot today, pretty crazy. And that's it, really. Tomorrow we're back at the restaurant. Today was a pretty cool day. And, uh, yeah, wish you soon.